This episode of the Go Past the Last is brought to you in part by Linex. If you ever need truck coatings or parts for your truck, like uh, say fender flares or things like that, go to Linex and they'll hook it up for you. Hello, welcome to episode two of Go Past the Last. I'm Hunter Maggard, and on this episode, we're not going to be in the studio. We're going to be in a mall covering your car show, which is really cool, and this is the first time we ever did interviews. So if you did really bad, don't judge us. I hope you enjoy the episode. Hello, this is Hunter Maggart, and we are at the Miami Valley Century Mall here with Steve. And what kind of car here do you have? Uh, we're right here. We got a uh, 07 Foz 1000cc uh, Mini Sprint. Okay. Um, they're motorcycle powered uh, Mini Sprints. Basically, it's a, a midget with a wing, and it's basically downsized from a full size sprint car. So how do you build one of these? Is it like custom build, or do you have kits that you can buy to build these cars? How does that work? These here, you buy. You can you can build one if you want, but uh, you can buy the kit and, and and they have everything you need to get started. Okay. So, what tracks do you race at here in Ohio, or if not Ohio, where all do you race really? Primarily, we're gonna campaign and run this car at Waynesfield Motorsports okay. Park, which is in Waynesfield, Ohio, and uh, we can run. Uh, we might try to go over into Indiana to Mount Pelier, Bloomington. Uh, hit a few tracks over there. Yeah. Hit get a couple races on a little different track surface. Okay. So you say this is a sprint car. Now, is it primarily dirt track, or do you do dirt track, road, uh, bike top? What is what all do you run? We're doing all dirt. This is the, this is a full dirt car. Dirt. We, yeah, okay. we do all dirt. Okay. Does it matter what kind of tires do you have? Do you have to have uh, dirt track tires? Do you have to have what 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 kind of tires do you have to run on these cars? We run dirt track tires. Mm -hmm. um, they make several different compounds. Basically, the fronts we run the same, same front tires on, the, on any track we run. Uh, the big difference is in the back. Um, if you look at it, you can kind of tell that the left rear is a lot smaller than the right rear. Right. It's more noticeable on the full-size cars. Yeah. Basically, we do that for rear stagger because it's a solid rear axle, and we got to get it to turn left. Yeah. Um, and we can. Well, we may run haul one to two extra right rears and maybe a different left rear just to get different staggers right. for how sharp or yeah. how small a track is. So how fast does this go really? That's something I really want to know. We at Waynesfield down the straightaway we've been clocked in these around 90 mile an hour. That's awesome. In a motorcycle engine? Yeah, out of a motorcycle. That is engine. awesome. All right. Thank you, Steve. All right. Thanks for being here. Not a problem. All right. All right, I'm here with Bill Cook, and he races go-karts. We're going to ask him some questions. Okay, where do you race at, mainly? We normally run Crydersville Speedway, uh, just north of Wapakoneta, Ohio, and sometimes we'll go to Little Eldora. All right. Uh, how fast does it go? Uh, the ones I drive uh, are 250 four-cycle opens. Depending on track size, uh, we'll get up 70 or a little over that. Mile All right. Uh, how much horsepower do they have, the highest one? The ones we're running right now uh, start out at six and a half horsepower stock, but with Tom Reynolds doing his 
little fun tricks to them. We're up around 35. All right. Uh, I heard you earlier talking about RPMs. How? What is the highest RPM they can go to? With the animal we're, that we're running right now, uh, it will turn 8,500 pretty easy and not hurt the motor at all. We do have a clone motor that we have turned 9,750 RPM at Eldora. Wow. Okay, that's, that's a lot for a go-kart. Uh, have you ever gotten any wrecks? Uh, Major. Unfortunately, yes. <laughs> unfortunately, yes. All right. Did, did you get hurt from any of those? The worst injury I've had uh, was a separated growth plate in my wrist at Willowdale in, I think, 1983 or 4. Tried to clear the turn one fence there. And uh, a couple years ago, got loose and tagged a wall at Little Eldora and dislocated four ribs. Wow. <laughs> That's quite, quite some stuff right there. Okay, thank you for taking your time out of this busy day to talk to us. Sure thing. Anytime. Right. Thank Take you. care. It's a reverse F-150 window because the driver needs to enter and exit, which is the purpose of it, right? All right, so here we are with Ryan Barr, and he drives this awesome Sprint car? Mini Sprint. Mi Mini Sprint. All right, so tell us a little bit about this car. Uh, it is a 1,000cc Mini Sprint. Uh, we usually run at Waynesfield Raceway Park. Uh, it's the same size as a midget, just a little bit smaller than a Sprint car. We're usually pulling around 200 horsepower. Okay. So um, how long have you been driving? So I, I hear you're in eighth grade, same as me and Luke. And so have you been, is there like a... Uh, certain age you have to be to drive these cars? How's it work? Uh, last year was our first year in the Mini Sprint. Mm -hmm. uh, you have to be 13 to run at Waynesfield. And I actually started when I was five years old in quarter midgets. Really? Is quarter midgets like the uh, go-karts that we see here a lot? Uh, quarter midgets, you'll find them around K Jewelers and JC Penney's. They are they're just a little bit smaller than this okay. and uh, look almost identical. Okay. So how many races have you run? One. Uh, none in this class, but in the quarter mid, it's 83. That's amazing. This is only your first year driving these cars? Second. Second year? Second year. All right, awesome. So, is this a dirt track car? Is it a street car? What, all, what is this? It is a dirt track oval car. Dirt track car? All right. Awesome. Thanks for talking to us. Yes. Thank you very much, sir. All right. Good. So this is your first year in this class, but have you raced before? Uh, yeah, I've raced go-karts for about 10 years now. All right, and where did you race the go-karts? Um, about everywhere, but uh, when we first started out, we were out at Crydersville and Wapakoneta. All right, uh, how much horsepower does this car right here have? Uh, it has 200 horsepower. It's a 1,000cc Suzuki. How, what is its top speed? Um, from where we're going to race, it's probably get about 120. All right, and I'm guessing you race on dirt. Yeah. All right. Um, so where, where are you going to race this? Um, down at 35 Speedway in Chillicothe, Ohio, and at Wayne's Field. All right. Uh, is, are you the only one in your family that races, or are there other people? Um, my dad, Shane, used to drive uh, go-karts for a while. Then he moved to a mini sprint. But once I got into racing, he kind of decided he's going to get out. All right. Um, have you ever won a lot of money from, from racing this kind of stuff? Um, I think my most has probably been about 4000 in a weekend, maybe. Okay, that's, that's pretty good. Uh, I think that's it, so thank you very much. Thanks. All right. So we're here with Cole Robertson, who races these awesome car, race cars. I'm not really sure what the right name is, but um, tell us a little about, a bit about your car and your history. Well, I first started off when I was about 
four or five years old, running go-karts. They're little, small, rinky-dinky things. Just something to get started in. Yeah. We went to a uh, track, kill care, and saw a quarter midget run, and I looked up and told my dad, I said, I think I can do that, and a few weeks later we had one. Really? That's awesome. All right, so you told me beforehand you had a small block Chevy. Is it, I'm going to guess it's a 350 or 305. Is 350? Yes, sir. Awesome. All right, carbureted? Yep. All right, um, so how long have you been racing this car in particular here? We, this car, we just got this car two, three weeks ago and got it ready for the car show. We'll be running it this year primarily. So, where do you race this car? Is it like a kill care car, dirt track, you know, road course, what is it? It's a dirt track oval car. We'll be running Eldora, Lima Land, Atomic Speedway. Is Atomic Speedway in Ohio? I've never heard of that one. Yes, it's, I believe it's near Chillicothe. All right, so, no, I saw a lot of the race cars here have leaf springs. Is this a leaf car? Got leaf springs in the rear end here? No. No, it doesn't? Nope. Does not have the leaf springs. Shot car all around. All right. All right. So, all right. Awesome. Thank you very much for interviewing with us. Thank you. All right. So here we are with Joe West with his awesome 65 Mustang, 427 may I add. So tell us the story of this Mustang. It was uh, raced at Fremont Speedway, a number of other racetracks in Ohio back 42 years ago. It was the Fremont Speedway 1974 late model champion. Wally Hemminger was the driver. Yeah. Uh, we, there was, let's see, six of us restored this car put it back together uh, December of 2010. We started on it, we're done in, April, in March of 11. Uh, and then we sent it to the body shop, Foster yeah. Auto Body, and they worked on it for five weeks. That's awesome. And you can see what happened to it. It looks pretty decent, it does. I think. Very, very cool. Awesome, so are you the driver of this car? Do you race it? And if so, where do you race it's it? It's a vintage class, mm -hmm. uh, really, you go, when you go on the racetrack, you try to be careful and make sure you don't run into anything. Yeah, right. Winning is not important with this car. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we put on a show. It's more like a show right. car. It's a style factor, really. Yeah, please don't hit yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, or, it's been to the, uh, let's see, Fremont, Attica, Sandusky. Uh, this car's been to the... National Dirt Late Model Hall of Fame in Union, Kentucky. I loaned it to yeah. them for six weeks a couple of years ago. That is awesome. Uh, I've been to Butler, Michigan. Mm -hmm. uh, there haven't been too many places we've been with it, but yeah. it's uh, a number of places in Ohio, and it's even been to, like I said, Union, Kentucky. Yeah. So, so is this a rebuilt 427, or is it yeah. is it rebuilt? Yeah. Uh, well, no, they haven't made them since '67, so oh, yeah, it's okay. almost impossible right. to buy a new yeah. one. Okay, I didn't know if they had a, like a blueprint engines for. No, they, they don't, don't make those. Make, they haven't remade them. Okay. So it, it, you're not going to find a new one. Yeah. That's awesome. So, did the engine was it in the car when you got it? Is that how you got a hold of a 427? No. Uh, Paul Brown, mm -hmm. a, a guy in Clyde that used to race, yeah. had one sitting in his old barn and. Really. I uh, sold it to me and I had. Scott Gressman rebuild the motor and another friend of mine and Lindsay put it together yeah. for me. That's awesome. So is this a carbureted, fuel injected? Yep. Is it carbureted, four barrel Holly carburetor? Awesome. We actually rebuilt one for our first episode. That's Good. awesome. Good. Yeah. Thank you for talking to us. Good. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. That's the one. If uh, Batman needed to show up, somebody, what are you doing? Actually, you know that original Batman deal sold for like four million dollars. It was like six. Wait, this is like the Batman here, isn't it? Stop saying. I wonder how they see how far the car is in front of them. Do you wonder that?
Um, Hunter, anything else you want to talk about? All right, uh, I think that's it. All right, thank you. Super. Okay. So, we're at the. Is my my view all Yep. Okay. <laughs> All right, so. All right, so one more thing before you leave. We want to thank our sponsors, Linex. Now, you see, Linex isn't only a sponsor of our show. They're great people. Now, they decided to sponsor our show, and they gave us a chance. That's a huge thing. Now, like I said before, they do awesome things for your truck. I've seen the work they do, and it's honestly amazing. And you can get awesome parts for your truck. Again, fender flares, all kinds of different things. And it's up to you to go see them.